Hello students, welcome back to the sixth video of this playlist. So this will be the last video of this playlist since we will be solving the last question of October 2023 Statistics 1 paper. So let's see uh, what's the last question from this paper is about. So basically the concepts behind question number six it's from chapter number five that is correlation and regression that has been discussed in your uh, statistics textbook uh, what I said chapter number five so uh, in order to be able to solve this question definitely you have known you should have known all of the concepts from uh, chapter number five like uh, like concepts behind the regression line equation and uh, the summary statistics also so let's get started with question number six okay the variables x and y have the following reg regression equations based on the same 12 observations okay there are t total 12 observations the reg regression equation is given for y on x it is y equals to 1.4 x plus 1.5 and for x on y regression line equation for x on y it is x equals 1.2 plus 0 0.2 y so basically from chapter 5 we know that uh, the regression line is basically specific like the regression line equation for x on y it is different than the regression line of y on x like it's not working like a simultaneous equation okay that we did in uh, pure maths it's totally different like there in, in in terms of the statistical knowledge it is different okay so part a asks to find the point of intersection of these lines we need to find out the point of intersection of these lies lines okay so for finding the points of point of intersection between these two lines, we have to use the concept from what pure maths that is solving what simultaneous equation you can consider the two equations as simultaneous and then solve for x and y okay so uh, on the point of intersection because on the point of intersection what we know their x values will be equal isn't it right so let's substitute the x into y okay so for part a1 let's substitute x into the equation of y so y equals to what 1.4 times what's the uh, equation for x it is 1.2 plus uh, 1.2 plus 0 0.2 y okay and then plus 1.5 plus 1.5 okay now uh, expand the bracket so 1.4 times 1.2 what would be the value 1.4 times 1.2 would give you 1.68 1.68 plus 0 0.2 times 1.4 it would give you 0 0.28 0 0.28 y plus what 1.5 fine okay now we need the value for y right so take 0.28 y from the right hand side to the left so 1 minus 1 minus 0.28 that would give you 0.72 y equals to 1.68 plus 1.5 this is basically 3.18 this is 3.18 okay so the value for y y equals to what 3.18 over 0.72 this is basically 53 over 12 the value for y is 53 over what 12 and now we need to find out the value for x so x equals to what x equals to what was the equation x equals 1.2 plus 0 0.2 y right 1.2 plus 0 0.2 y so this is 53 over so the value for x would be 0 0.2 times 53 over 12 it was 53 over 12 not 2 it is 53 over 12 so 53 over 12 times 0 
it gives you 53 over 60 plus 1.2 so this is basically 25 over 12 okay okay so point of intersection we got the point of intersection this is basically what Fif uh, 25 over 12 and 53 over what 12 done next this was part 1 so for part 2 uh, what they have asked in part 2 hence show that sum of x equals to 25 hence they said hence there that means we need to use our answer from part 1 to get the value for sum of x okay so in part 1 what we have found we found the point of intersection that means the point of intersection basically represents what the point of intersection represents the mean of x and the mean of y okay the point of intersection represents the mean of x this will be the mean of okay this will be the mean of x okay and the x coordinate would be the mean of x and the y coordinate would be the mean for what y okay so just uh, hold a bit let me change the ink okay so this is the mean for x x bar and this is basically the y bar okay so for part 2 we got what x bar this is equals to what 25 over 12 therefore so what we can write so sum of x so sum of x equals to what mean is basically sum of x over n so if you multiply the mean that is 25 over 12 times n n is what 12 so what we can get 25 and that's what the question has asked for okay okay so next is part b in part b what they have asked given that sum of x y is 6961 over 60 so find s of x y we need to find out the value for s of x y okay so at first consider what's what's the formula for s of x y s of x y for part b they asked the value for s of x y this is equals to what sum of x y minus sum of x times sum of y over what n right so we already know the value for sum of x y we already know the value for sum of x that we found in part a2 and just we need to find out the value for sum of y so sum of y we know the mean for y it is what it is the y coordinate of the point of intersection isn't it the y coordinate of the point of intersection which is 53 over 12 which is 53 over 12 that means so what we can write sum of y is basically it's 53 over 12 okay 53 over 12 times what 12 okay so that would give you 53 so we got the sum of y which is 53 now it's time to find out the summary statistic s of x y so s of x y would be what sum of x y sum of x y it's given as 6961 over uh, 6961 over 60 okay it's given as 6961 over 60 minus sum of x is 25 so 25 times 53 over n n is basically what 12 okay so sum of x is 25 sum of n sum of y is 53 over n okay over 12 so let's find the value 25 times 53 over 12 so 6961 over 60 minus the answer so what you will get this is basically s of x y which is 28 over 5 so we got the value for s of x y this is 
what 28 over 5 so this is the value for the summary statistic s of x y done next is what part c the last part of this question in part c they are asking to find the product moment correlation coefficient that is pmcc we need to find out the pmcc between x and y okay so we need to find out the pmcc the value for the product moment correlation coefficient so at first consider the formula for pmcc the formula for pmcc is basically r equals to s of x y over square root of s of x x times s of x sorry s of x x times s of y y so we know the value for s of x y we just found and we, we we have to find out the value for s of x x and s of y y okay now our work is to find out the value for s of x x and the value for s of y y so how can we find out let us consider we have the equation of the two regression line right one is for y on x the other one is for x on y right okay so we know that uh, we know that what we know we know that the gradient of regression line equation is basically if you, if, you, if you are considering the regression line of y on x okay then for that equation uh, the gradient is basically s of x y over s of x x okay so since we know the value for s of x y and we know the gradient so we can easily find out the value for s of x x right so b equals to 1.4 right in here you can see that b is equals to 1.4 so b is equals to what 1.4 this is basically what s of x y over s of x x this is 1.4 and again another b is basically how uh, like what's the value uh, given there 1 uh, 0 0.2 the grid the coefficient of y this is 0 0.2 so for the second one which is 0 0.2 it is basically what it is basically 0 uh, s of x y over the previous one was s of x x x so now it will be s of y y okay so this is 0 0.2 so easily we can find out the value for s of x x and the value for s of y y so s of x y is 28 over 5 over 1.4 so what you will get the value for s of x x so s of x x equals to 28 over 5 over 1.4 so you will get exactly for the summary statistics s of x x it's basically exactly 4 and let's find s of y y so s of y y equals to what 0 0.2 over sorry i wrote it opposite it should be 28 over 5 over what s of y y is basically sorry uh, over 0 0.2 yes so s of y y goes to the right hand side and 0 0.2 comes to the denominator that's it so s of y y is basically 28 over 5 over 0 0.2 this is exactly 28 okay then we got the value for s of x x and s of y y so it's our time to find out the value for the pmcc so r so r equals to what s of x y the value for s of x y is basically 28 over 5 over what square root of what 4 times 8 right okay so what would be the value so 28 over 5 over square root of 4 times 28 so the value is basically square root of 7 over 5 which is uh, 0 0.529 0 0.529 so this is three significant figures and that's the value for the product moment correlation coefficient between x and y 
and that's all about the sixth question the last question of statistics 1 October 2023 paper so in this uh, playlist I have tried to explain as much as possible so definitely there might be some flaws in my calculations or my talkings so wherever you see any flaws or any mistakes feel free to write below the below in the comment box of that specific video okay so that's all and yeah thank you